Hello, this is uh, Chris Walker back again after a week off for vacation. Um, so today, uh, in lieu of last week, and I did promise uh, an update by Sunday last time, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I needed a break after what seemed like two or three hours of hibernation. Um, uh, today, we will uh, be talking about um, not one, but uh, two episodes of Miss Marvel, uh, Crossed and um, Distant, uh, which in which Crossed uh, was the final part of um, of the first um, of three segments also uh, with the Pakistani uh, theatrical showing of Miss Marvel and now um, Quest starts the second of three uh, Miss Marvel adaptations in um, Pakistan. So uh, uh, episode Two and three will be top for today. So enjoy and we'll see you on the other side. Um, so we've got quest and um uh, the two episodes I watched were mostly, I'd say, more character development, studying. Um, yeah, it's a very, very different. And I think I read on the site, I put my thought notes here. Um, it's much more complex than. Very, yeah, it is. Um, than, a lot of character development in this episode. Yeah, the origin stories that came before in the Marvel universe, um, which is, I think, great for a TV show like this before uh, the character comes into the Captain Marvel sequel. Oh, yeah, for sure. A lot of care development, character development in this. We, we really get to see Kamala's life with the bangle and her going through the progression of her uh, journey along with her, her uh, friend Bruno. And really, we really see the two of them in episode two at the same time being introduced to new other characters like Cameron. Yeah. And hearing a little bit of his story, where his story ties in with Kamala, even with Bruno, as Bruno is dealing with more character development on his own end with being accepted to Cal, Cal State in California. Yeah, yeah, I really like that at the um, the beginning of, uh, well, I was always talking about her party and I'm like, and she's like, I'm not interested. But when Sorry invites Cameron, it's all I, I'm doing, you guys drive me. Yeah, we can really tell like for direction from the first act, the second act, and third act. I felt like the second act was pretty much was the big party. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the um and the party was yeah, cut short. And um yeah, then you had um uh, well in the beginning you had to playing with the training montage on the powers. Then you actually see how you start powers a little at the end. Um, but it's kind of more negative than positive because I think she enjoys a kid with her powers um, uh, or doesn't set her, him down on the, um, the ground. Um, it just uh, her powers fall to, and he ends up uh, 
on a Kaluf. So, oh yeah, you yeah. really see the progression of her powers. I like the idea where they show like um, the uh, the montage as Luna's helping her understand these powers. At yeah. the same time, like get a balance in her head. It's like, okay, you're emitting this kind of energy. At the same time, let's like write some notes down. Like, see, like we can have a, a basic fundamental basis of like get a control of your powers. And I like that montage where he it shows Bruno helping Kamala at the same time. Kamala's understanding her powers, like how they really work. And we really see that in the element when she's called to action uh, to save that kid. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see uh, the emotion on her face afterwards that it doesn't go quite as planned as she thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But she had like an idea in her head, like where would it go? But like in reality, it, her plan didn't plan out as she hoped. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, there was uh, yeah, one quote that I wanted to add or get, but it wasn't available on the wiki or uh, um, Zoe was talking about being saved by Captain Marvel and Nakia's going, she's basically been saved by a, like a low budgeted version of Captain Marvel. And you can see Kamala quietly going, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a nice moment for her. Your friend actually, Boyne actually saved him, but I thought that was a nice touch on the whole, you're welcome for, yeah, the rescue. Yeah, I felt, I felt the same way in the scene that you described as well. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, yeah, then you begin that, uh, yeah, touching scene, uh, scene in the bathroom bar. Uh, Nakia is talking to Kamala, and I got the line, uh, my whole life I've either been too white for some people or too ethnic for others. And then at the end, it's like, like when I put this on, I feel like me, like I have a purpose. And that was really, I think, one of the better quotes that I got from watching the episode. Yeah, that's a really good quote. Um, one I like when Kamala and Bruno are talking, and Kamala's like, why don't we call it heart light? like her power, her energy. And I thought that was like really cool to add a little spin to the name of her ability. It's like, what, it admits from your heart. It's like, okay, why don't we call it a heart light? And they're yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, and then she just stuck with the name Night, Night Light, which yeah. in the next episode for your friend says, yeah, I don't like that name. And Kamala responds by, I know, right? Uh, see, yeah, it's that name too, but well, can uh, hopefully see the progression of like a costume suit. Um, yeah, we see that like, growth too, and a little bit of the uh, costume as well. Yeah, she has the, yeah, behind me, she has the Captain Marvel suit, but. Uh, in like the later episodes, I mean, I've seen her in the comic book suit. Um, she's probably going to use some version of that, like, later on down the road. And like, yeah, I'm kind of curious, too, as well. Sorry, like, you cut in there. Oh, um, that's, that's okay. So, like, I, I kind of, I like her direction. Ugh, can I speak? I like the progression of her suit as well. I'm kind of curious as to see like which episode later on we'll see like the full costume all in its glory. 
I like the idea as it's growing and growing a little bit by little bit by each little episode. I think that's a great idea at what they did with the series. The, seeing the progression of uh, Kamala as a uh, superhero suit. Um, be, I'm kind of curious as to which episode she'll get to see the, the final look of the, the costume. Because like from all the posters and ads that we've been seeing off and on for the past yeah. weeks or so, I'm kind of curious when we'll see that costume. But I, I'm digging this little little bits of like little growth and project, uh, growth in, within the costume. Yeah, so yeah, I'm let's see. Uh, they did a lot with uh, the backstory and I thought that and um, I also liked um uh, um, uh, when she had all, like, visions of who that woman is at the end, who that woman is, and then we find out that same woman in her vision is, uh, Cameron's mother. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was, like, a, a good twist within the episode. Yeah. Um, I was like wondering that too. Who is this lady? What's her motivation? What's her story? At the same time, thinking this is very mysterious with the, the vision that she has, especially with Cameron's mom. I'm kind of curious who is she? What kind of twist is Marvel going to play with the episode? And they did not disappoint. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this, uh, this is, yeah. What, what I'm yeah, saying uh, the next one is a twin could be a twin system to uh, episode three because um, we do get like a backstory involving uh, Kamala's grandmother and how she plays into all of this and where the Bengal comes from. Yeah, um, I'm, are we already into episode three already? Well, I'm, I'm just setting it up, oh, setting okay. it gotcha. up because I'm gonna ch uh, change the set um, back on soon. And I mean, gotcha. um, yeah, I guess to, I have the name of, Sen how Goemoto talks about Aisa, and we don't see that fully. Uh, we do get like a little explanation, but it's not clear. Um, but the next episode kind of establishes like a backstory right away um, that Aisa is, was one of them. Yeah, that was really interesting. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I kind of picked this out because I like the Bolly, little Bollywood musical thing. Yeah, this one, was, this one was really cool. Like you said, the, the little the Bollywood. And yeah. We see a little more here, the, the music score when the wedding reception was going on at the wedding. And uh, oh my God, Amir's and Tashisha's uh, wedding. Um, yeah. It was really cool. We get to see that kind of culture in this episode. Um, oh my God. And I yeah. really dig the little Bollywood and the music, the dancing. We really get to see that world more, which is good. Yeah, and I like how it, yeah they involved Bueno in it as well. Yeah, I feel the same way. And he was like, get in the groove too on the dance floor with the music. Yeah, so. With everyone else, that was cool. The dance moves was really cool. Yeah, so. Uh, the thing I liked, but yeah, Miss Marvel, uh, three, um, yeah, this had uh, much more. I say all of episodes one, two, three have more of a backstory, 
but you do get like a major action sequence in the final bits of the episode. Very true. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, let's see. I took a few notes, guys. Um, in India in 1942, I liked how they did the backstory before the credits. Yeah, I did too. I like that, where they show like Britain 1942 and where the, the history, where the Bengal came from. And we see like where it was before when Kamala had it in a possession. Before Kamala, then the family had it. And before that, it really showed like the rich history of it. And like, yeah. I can like realize something watching this episode the second time, when that lady was grabbing the bangle from that hand, you, did you notice that hand was blue? And like, I just realized that could have been a, a Cree alien. I never like picked up on it till now in my head. Mm. At the same time, I kind of read a little bit prior of Marvel talks today, a little background of Miss Marvel okay. and, and like, from what I understand so far, um, I think the the Bengal may have some Cree technology in there. Oh. Or the Cree might have created the Bengal, but like there's some there's some sort of connection at least with the Bengal from the Cree. That's what I gathered. So I'm kind of curious who that person was before when that person was alive. Yeah, you might be right. And I could be wrong too. But it's just a, a working theory. Yeah, this is all yeah, all theories for presenting. Um yeah, we I mean it, it cuts abruptly because I mean the two women split up, we know we know one of them is Kim Wen's mother. But we don't know what happens to the grandmother, Aisha. So I think that's going to eventually come to play uh, in the final episodes. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, I feel the same way too. Yeah. But the rest of the backstory is, is she still alive? Is she not? Uh, what happened to her? Yeah, what's the story? Yeah, she went missing and all, but like, why did she go missing? How come no one has searched out for the the why, the how, and when did she, we have an idea when she went missing during the partition, but like when during it? So there's at least a series of questions um, in my head on that. Yeah. But leaves room for conversation, though. Yeah, and yeah, like I said, uh, I put Bengals of Visions, and then afterwards I put the the clandestines or di the gin, as they were called. Um, yeah, that was interesting. Like learning about the clandestines and having. Uh, uh, Kamala's dad, like, take a look at the uh, some of the research that Bruno found. Yeah, and, like yeah. hearing that little history background, um, that was really cool to add in. And with the pictures and the little research Bruno was working on, and Kamala's dad looks at it and he reads it, it was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, I actually thought the dad was gonna provide Bruno with a little more information. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, uh, I was so, feeling the same way too. Yeah, like I, yeah, like I said, I don't know if that's going to come up later, but it's a possibility because Marvel always leaves hints and hints out there, and they don't reveal it until like at the end or in later movies. Yeah, which I like in their movies and like with the series too. They do like little bit gradual, like little bit of information, just enough to keep us intrigued enough to stick to the episodes and see where it goes and develops and grow. They don't mm -hmm. like throw out, oh, here's all the information here. 
No, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave little bit of little bits, like little like um, uh, little peanuts <laughs> along the way of information. Yeah, and then and later on, like and drop a bomb of information later in an episode. Yeah. So uh, then I got the DODC agents going into the mosque and. Um, being schooled by Nakia and what she knows. And she's, but she says, I got it all out watching Law and Order Lawrence. Yeah, I would love that line. If I had to think about like a cool line in episode three, I would say that one's like, I know enough. You need a war to walk in here. I, so you know Law, right? No, I've seen enough Law and Order reruns in my time. <laughs> <laughs> I like thinking that's hilarious. I love it. Yeah, so. But that's true, though. You got to have a warrant. You may have a person of interest you may need to find and grab. It's like, we get that. At the same time, you have to go through the process as well. So, like, where's the paperwork? That's true. So, yeah. And then. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot that in my notes. Um, yeah, I really like the dancing uh sequences in the show because they did it with the Bollywood and Hill, and they did, um, in the last episode, uh, like the Be My Baby dance sequence. <laughs> many dance sequence in her head. I just thought that it was so impressive. Yeah, very impressive. The color palette and the the, uh, the dancing alone too. Yeah. Um, it looked very natural and organic and didn't look like it was pushed. She was like really in her element, in her moment, in her head. Where she was, what she was feeling and what she was having emotions and feeling in that moment. We really the the music really played well. The choice of music they played picked on that one. Like yeah. oh, I'm in love. I want to like this dancing song sequence. Great pick. Yeah, cause yeah, it was all in her head, like all in yeah. her head. The imaginative dancing. The only time they cut in was uh, how was Sally's house, and she's like, it was good. Yeah, and the trans uh, uh, transition between yeah. those from the from her imagination in her head into the reality in mm -hmm. real world, they really made that really subtle with the with the transition from between the two. Yeah, so yeah, let me go back to episode three before I really lose it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, but yeah, the day of a meal and. Aisha's birthing, and then, yeah, I do like the different birthing customs that they used. Um, then the Bollywood dance, and then um, I kind of like the brown jelly, you know? Yeah, it took me like a few clicks in my brain to why it sounded so funny. It's like, oh, I get it now. Yeah, the same. Same here on my side. It was like, now who, who are they referring to? Oh, I got it. Yeah, it took like a few, I should say like a few clicks, more like a couple of clicks. Yeah. And then, yeah, we see, then I wrote down Cameron at the wedding. And then, uh, is, is uh, Najima bad? Like, are the clandestines bad? Because they wanted to use, uh, they wanted to use uh, Kamala's pinkle as a way of getting home, um, and Carmen wanted to wait until after the wedding, um, but yeah, it was like, no, we're going to do this now. Yeah, and she played it smart too. <clears throat> keeping people say it's like, okay, I'm going to pull the emergency button. I think that was a smart move on her part. I shouldn't say smart move, but it was like, it was a very smart move to do that. And like, she wanted to like save those, uh, her family and friends. And like, 
I, the clandestines, they could have been a little more patient, but like, I think they were like, no, we want it. We want it back. They're going to yeah. do whatever it takes. Yeah, because they were trapped in that forest for a long time since. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. So, yeah, let's see. Bruno and Cameron join in the fight. I do, I did like how they were involved in the fight. And um, yeah, you're going in the com in the comic books, like he is known as Red Dago. Oh. And um, I think you do get to see some of his like short play or fight in that scene, but I mean, it was really too quick to tell. And um, yeah, like in one of my um, many questions I have is, Will he eventually become bad at some point during the show? Um, I think it's a question and conversation on that. Yeah. It's like, will he or will he go bad? Yeah, because I feel both the Jim or clandestine become antagonists or baddies uh, during the back three, which for episode four, five, six. Um, I feel like we might hear an answer to that question. Uh, I feel like maybe like in the next episode, but I could be wrong on that. But like, I feel like later, I feel like you're right. So I feel like we'll, we'll probably hear that more later in the season. Like yeah. The end. Maybe like episode five, maybe. Yeah. And then, um, then, uh, yeah, non mentions about uh, Karachi which I have as one of the unanswered questions in the last three um, episodes. So, yeah, I think they're going to head towards the in uh, episode four, um, explore uh, like a little more of the backstory before we get like action oriented. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see where it goes. Uh, very true. I feel like my mind's right there where you're at, too. Yeah, and then um, uh, I also have what happens now between uh, Nakia and Kamala now that uh, uh, Nakia knows her secret. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, really interesting how that plays out. Yeah, um, kind of like I kind of like had a feeling that was going to happen later on in the episodes, but like I was not that surprised it was going to happen in this uh, episode three. I knew it was going to happen before episode four, because like sooner or later she'll find out about Kamala's powers. Yeah, so yeah, it's interesting, and so yeah. So, I mean, I really, yeah, like I said uh, in the beginning, I really like this because this is a more complex origin story uh, for Marvel than they've told before. Um, yeah, very complex. Yeah, because you have all these like multi dimensional like characters within the show. I mean, you have Kamala, you have her parents, you have her back, her grandparents, uh, and you've got her, fo her friends, uh, Nakia, Zoe, and Bruno. Uh, and it's then, amazing what they can do with the series. Sharing yeah. the backstories to all the characters at the same time, having it, it, it intertwined with Kamala's story. Yeah. It's very impressive. Then, yeah, you've got the clandestine and the DODC agents, which actually do act as like the antagonists in, of the story so far. Um, from yeah. what I've gotten of the angles. Um, so, yeah, so 
Yeah, it'd be highly interesting to see where it goes from here. I, uh, I totally agree with you on that. I feel yes. that. So, all right, I'm going to end this a little early because I do like when they give me the, um, yeah, the, the timer. I just saw that just now. Yeah, screen. So, My yeah. screen will be back to normal on the next episode. <laughs> Sorry about that glitch there. That's that's okay. Okay. That's, all right. Uh, all right. Marvel out. You need a marvel out. Peace. Peace. And that's gonna do it for uh, this week's show. So uh, uh, next week we will begin with episode four. Uh, and then weeks after five and six, and so in, um, hopefully trying to answer all those questions um, that Ryan and I talked about. Um, also, of the note, like I mentioned in the beginning with my introduction, um, this episode crashed and episode four uh, will be shown as a 90 minute movie in uh, Pakistan in uh, starting uh, July 1st, 47th. Um, so basically, uh, for my slide, so I um, can put over myself, <laughs> um, episode one was Generation Y, and episode two was crushed. Those were already shown in theaters as of last week. Um, uh, so this week begins episode three, Destined, and then the next episode, uh, the episode four, and then episodes five and six will be together uh, for a period of actually two to three weeks uh, from uh, July 15th, I believe, through July 31st. Um, uh, but yeah, we will be watching episode four next week. So, uh, and talking about what we think of the episode. So, Thank you. I hope you liked the episode and uh, see you next week. Marvel out. <laughs>